In this video, we're going to talk about the perimeter of different shapes. So as you can see, we have all these different shapes here. We have an orange rectangle. We have a purple square. We have a green circle. And we have a black triangle. and we're going to figure out how to measure the perimeter of each of these shapes. So what really is the perimeter? The perimeter is the length that you would get if you were to take a tape measure and measure this, this side and then go around to this side and keep going on this side and measure all four sides with a tape measure or a ruler and add up the different lengths you get. So it would be as if you took each side of the rectangle and put them on their end. We have two long sides and two short sides. And the length of all of those sides put together is called the perimeter. The same thing with the square. We have four sides of equal length for the square. And if we put them one up against the other without any space in between, if we added all those lengths together, we get the perimeter. So how do we calculate the perimeter of these different shapes without just measuring each side? Well, each shape has its own little formula or a way to calculate the perimeter. So the rectangle has four sides. It has two short sides, which we'll call the width, and two long sides, which we'll call the length. L is for length, and W is for width. So the perimeter, P, is equal to W, plus W plus L plus L. Width plus width plus length plus length, which is the same thing that we did here. We added up the two long sides and the two short sides, two widths and two lengths. And if we want to simplify this formula, we know that the perimeter is equal to 2 times w, 2 widths, plus 2 times l, 2 lengths. And if we know how to distribute and factor, we can say that the perimeter of a rectangle equals 2 times the sum of the width and the length. Because we know that we have two widths and two lengths. So we add the length and the width together and multiply by two. Now let's do the square. The square has four sides of equal length. So let's call one side S for side. So the perimeter is equal to S plus S plus s plus s. So we have four s's. That's the length of four sides. So p is equal to four times s. Because all the sides of the square are the same length. And we have four sides on our square. Every square has four sides of equal length. So we can add the length of one side up four times, or multiply four by the length of one side to get our perimeter. Let's do the triangle next. So the triangle doesn't really have a special formula because a triangle can have all sorts of different lengths. No two, no two sides of a triangle have to be the same. So we'll call one side length A, one side length B, and one side length C. 
A and B could be the same, like in this case it looks like A and B are equal, or A, B, and C could all be different numbers. So P for a triangle is going to be A plus B plus C. And let's do the circle, which is the most complicated. So the perimeter of a circle has its own special name, and the perimeter of a circle is called the circumference. And the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. And what the radius is, is if we were to draw a dot in the middle of the circle and extend it until it touched the side, and we could draw it to touch the side anywhere, because as long as we start from the very center, each of these lines is going to be the exact same length. And that length is r, which stands for radius. And the radius is the length of a line from the very center of a circle until you get to the edge of the circle. And then pi is a Greek letter. So the Greeks have their own alphabet. And one of the letters is pi, which is spelled P-I. And pi has a value of about 3.14. So to get the circumference of a circle, which is the perimeter of a circle, we multiply 2 times pi times the radius. So let's go over an example of each of these perimeter calculations. So let's start with the rectangle. So we have a couple different formulas or equations or ways to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle. We know that our width equals 2 and our length equals 5. Now let's use this equation here. So perimeter equals 2 times the width, which is 2, plus 2 times the length, which is 5. So the perimeter is equal to 2 times 2. Remember, order of operations, we do our multiplication before our addition. So 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2 times 5 is 10. Perimeter of this rectangle is 4 plus 10, which is 14. For our square, we have a side length that is equal to 3. And we have four sides that are equal to 3. So our perimeter is equal to 4 times the side length, which is 3. So the perimeter of our square is 4 times 3, which is 12. Our triangle has three sides of different length. So we simply add them all together to get our perimeter. 3 plus 4 plus 6. So our perimeter is equal to 13. And our circle. The circle has a perimeter called the circumference. And the circumference, C, is equal to 2 times pi times our radius, which is 4. Because all of our three terms are being multiplied together, we can multiply in a different order than what's written. So we can multiply the 2 and the 4 together before we involve pi. So we can write c is equal to 8 times pi. And sometimes it's alright to leave it like this because this is an exact answer. 
if we want to write an approximate answer or something that's about equal to the right and to the exact answer we can say circumference is equal to 8 times 3.14 which is the value of pi and that's equal if you plug it into your calculator you get 25 Point one two. So 8 pi, 8 times pi, is the exact circumference of this circle. But if we do 8 times 3.14, we find that the circumference of this circle is about 25.12. Please let me know if you found this video helpful, if you want more like this, or how I can improve to help you more.